Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of The Daily Dish Show. My name is Valerie and on today's episode, I'm hanging out with content creator, budding actress <laughs> and reality TV star, Alison. How are you doing, Alison? I'm very fine, thank you. How are you doing? Valerie? I'm fine. I know we had an inside joke. That's why she giggled when I said budding <laughs> actress. She said you've done, you said you've done only one Yeah, film? just one. Just okay, one. and so yeah. far so good? Yeah, we thank God. Do you feel like it's something that you want to continue doing? Um, I actually do like it because I enjoy like you know playing different roles, mm-hmm. portraying like different characters. Yeah, I think so, yeah, I, think I like it. Fun. I like it. But I feel like th- I feel like I've tried to act before, and I think what I hated the most was like the long hours, like the long Being hours on set, and like at every given time you still have to sort of like give your best yes, performance yes, towards. Yeah. I feel like that was a yeah. bit much, and it's very similar with modeling as well because you're on set for hours. Yeah, and, I think you know, so. Yeah, I feel like generally with like TV and work that has to do with in, being in front of the camera or even mm-hmm. being behind the camera yeah. it tends to like take like long hours exactly. and I think most people didn't understand it until um, content creation became like a very popular thing because yeah. then it was just like TV presenters and actors and actresses that had that like feeling that okay we know that it's hard and it's tasking but people just think that it's all you know no, glitz just and glam pretty and, you know, just doing it. <laughs> so let's talk about your hair first of all or your lack, <laughs> lack of, of hair none. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's definitely it's a conversation starter for me is it a conversation starter every for you time, every, every single time, time right? can I touch your hair please can I touch? Like, nah, yeah. <laughs> nah <laughs> did you, you say can't. no nah, I say no every I feel time. like it depends on it depends on who it is but I do allow I mean my friends people, yes, yeah and I was like, like touch my just head. random people know no definitely <laughs> not <laughs> like the ones they don't color your style like why oh, are you trying to touch my hair or oh, my destiny <laughs> you get? so how long have you had short hair for uh, I caught it in 2020 okay yeah. fair enough I've had like I've, I'm even your elder in the, yeah. in the short <laughs> in the short hair short hair gag I think I went bald during lockdown that's so the same that time, was, 2020. I went bald during lockdown, but I always had short oh, okay. hair. You always had short hair. I always hair. had short oh. hair, but like I went bald because like, you know, there are no barbers and stuff during yeah. um, lockdown. So I got tired of like my hair being bushy. So like one day I just, there's a video on my Instagram. I just like shaved it and like that was I it. got bald as well. Yeah. I was just tired of, you know, the look and just, you know, mm-hmm. I was just like. Do you wear wigs? Barely, but I have like one now. Maybe mm-hmm. I, will, I will continue, but it's just like, I prefer it like you prefer this, it, like, to be like, honest. Same. Yeah. So let's talk about life after Big Brother or your journey to Big Brother and why did you do why did you think of doing reality TV? Well, I mean I've been a model for a long time mm-hmm. and I've always wanted to, you know, just create content, be like on social media, making money and doing all that. Mm-hmm. But as and before Big Brother I was working at a car company selling cars. It wasn't really my thing, right? I was mm-hmm. just like, Oh god. Then during the weekends I'll have time to do my content and do my modeling. So mm-hmm. it was just like not enough time to do what I really, wanted, really wanted to do. To do so okay. when I saw the opportunity to go on Big Brother, I was like, hmm, this could be it. I wasn't so sure because I had like, you know, thought about it the year before, but I didn't apply. So that year I was just like, you know what, let me just try it out. It might be fun, it might not be fun, you know what. Mm-hmm. Why not just try something new? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and how was it like, so can you tell us like, like, just give us like a quick run through of the journey from like getting into the house mm-hmm. and like, like everything that was going through, like every single thing until like the end how was it for you? Well, getting to the house, I was pretty scared because um, I'm so I'm not very outspoken or very mm-hmm. like in everybody's face. I don't know how to be like dramatic. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was a bit like, well, people might not understand my personality or they might feel like I just I'm just pretending mm-hmm. because I'm not like a lot. So going to the house, I was like, hmm, I wasn't sure who I was going to be like up against, what how I'll be able to, you know, navigate my my way through the house. When I went inside the house, it took me like maybe one week to like settle and then that was it. I just got very comfortable. Mm-hmm. And then coming out, of course, things have been better. It's big brother gives like good like good it's a very good platform it gives like you know proper opportunities, opportunities for sure yeah okay so since we're on the topic i wanted to ask like obviously all stars is happening right now have you have you been watching it on twitter i've, I've you haven't watched like, it really on started. twitter because even, even last night i tried to like watch it on twitter mm-hmm. i just can't just something about seeing the house i can't do like, it. i don't know why right. i don't know it just makes me i don't know i just get this <laughs> weird feeling it's, i feel like I okay maybe you can relate that too so sometimes i kind of cringe or i feel uncomfortable watching myself back when i'm like yeah. after i do it so maybe yeah like maybe that's how it maybe is that, even, that even, 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 when i watch a video i made like a week ago i'm just like nah yeah. you know, i talk like that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah anytime I, anytime I try to watch the house even during titan i just like oh this is something about that working. i can't i can't do it but then so now that leads me to definitely ask you like would you go back to the house 
maybe not so soon. Let's give it like a year or like, mm-hmm. I mean, it has been a year already. Let's give it like maybe two years, three years, or maybe another TV, maybe another reality TV, to be honest. So you do, so like, okay, if you, if you think of all the reality TV like you you watch that you enjoy, do you enjoy watching reality I, TV? For sure, I enjoy. Girl, I'm a too. huge fan of me reality too. TV. Like reality TV is my drug. If it's <laughs> yeah, reality I TV, I'm it. watching it. So I want yeah. to know, like, out of all the ones you've watched on, like, on every streaming platform, yeah. which one would you I willingly go for? Maybe Love Island. <laughs> yeah, most likely, most likely Love Island. I had a feeling that you because would say I like Island. it at the beach. I'm just like sitting on an island, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, why not? I'm mean, looking for love as well. I'm wearing bikinis. Yeah, it's a bad. Fair enough. Yeah. If I should think, if I could think of one, I don't know which one I'll go on. I think I will one hundred percent. I one hundred percent go. I actually like the concept of too hot to handle. But they will lose a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the beginning. But I feel like I like like the growth. That I, I watching the season. No, I actually. Have I feel like you should watch, watch this season. I feel like you you see some sort of like growth. I feel like also because it's done, it's been done before, mm-hmm. and they know what they ex- what is expected of them after the realization that they're on. After the realization that they're too hot to handle, mm-hmm. I feel like it's giving a lot of growth. You know, sometimes not every time like delinquent. Sometimes like grow yeah. up and be okay. Okay, I, I guess. I yeah. Guess. Okay, so let's talk about your work as a content creator. Mm-hmm. You have like you obviously have your own style of presenting content whenever like you're doing it. Can you tell viewers how that transition has been for you? Especially that people think that content creation is easy, number one. Nah. And number two is like you have to do something that would particularly cater to your own audience. Yes. So can you tell me how that has been for you? Like transitioning and then being comfortable enough to be like, okay, yes, this is my audience. This is what I'm going to give to them and I know that they're going to receive it and enjoy yeah. it. Well, honestly, as a content creator, it's like a, it's like a whole thing because most times you think that this content is what people want to see and then it's not what they want to see yeah so finding like your niche is like it's very hard i mean i think i found my um, i mm-hmm. create mostly like mm-hmm. lifestyle content mm-hmm. fashion sometimes i do a bit of like something maybe tr- i try to be funny with i, I, I do mm-hmm. some skits with, like mm-hmm. sometimes with i've seen i've seen that saga I've seen yeah, that yeah. <laughs> just with saga mm-hmm. but yeah it just it's, it's a whole of content create and um, creation is like it's it's a process. You're never done in like just finding out what people like. Yeah. So it's not about just like you know feeling comfortable and doing what you think you are because you can't continue to feed just the public. You have to exactly. be sure that you like what you're creating. Yeah. You watch and you're like, yes, that's exactly because even if you put it out there, not everybody's going to like it. Yes. So you have to show that you like what you are doing okay. and just hope that the public will like it as well. That's the best thing you can do. And sometimes as a content creator. If um, inspiration is very hard at times, <laughs> like me, it like is. now I'm on a break. I've been on a break for like maybe two weeks. I don't even know what to do. What to do? I've done a lot like fashion. I've done lifestyle. I'm just like, oh my god, there's yeah. no, there's no ginger. You know what? Someone, someone gave me an advice recently and said that because I was complaining about the same thing. I was mm-hmm. like, I just feel like every single thing on the internet is like these these days is pretty much always the same. Yeah. And then the advice, the, like he gave me two pieces of advice. Is that yeah. Correct. Yes, that yeah. is correct. I, I believe the so. first. <laughs> if I tap, oh, sorry. The <laughs> first advice. <laughs> was that like you know people always try to like create content but like you should pretty much just make yourself the content so not necessarily like oversharing on social media that's not what i'm talking about but like your day-to-day so i go out often right yeah. so i could make like a vlog series of me yeah. going out with friends so like it's this 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 like it could easily become like a thing yeah. as opposed to if i do that i'll probably have one content to post every week realistically yeah but sometimes you just feel like it's not enough that one was safe day oh, but then one, one a week is not better than the not two weeks that you haven't posted and sometimes <laughs> I don't want to mess with my hair where you just be like nah that's boring yeah, nobody wants to syndrome. watch that I nobody think so. I used to YouTube when I first came out of the house mm-hmm. after a while I was just like you know what nobody wants to watch this thing like why am yeah, I doing the same thing why am I, I talking so. about things that nobody so at times it's, it's, it's a lot I don't feel I feel like it's wrong for you to think that nobody wants to watch it yeah. because everybody there's some very very random people that I follow on TikTok but like I actually follow them because I'm sure when they were talking about some, there's so many people that get ready, get ready with me while I go and break up with my boyfriend get ready like I, I go to jail those, I watch those things from the beginning to the end or people, or people eating like random things you know what I'm saying? Like, I would be so interested I feel like there's room for every single yeah. thing like I don't feel like you should ever feel like your I content feeling, there's no room for your content I, I just be feeling like I'm, you should always feel I'm like there's room tired. for your content just like, we need to, we need to end that energy there's yeah. always there's always someone that wants to watch your content Period. <laughs> We're going to go on a very <laughs> short break. And when we come back, we'll continue chatting with Alison. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. We're still hanging out with Alison. 
smooth Alison. Is that make you shy? When <laughs> <laughs> people call me smooth Alison in public, I'm just like, yeah, gang, yeah, gang, gang. Yeah, gang. Yeah. <laughs> so talking about your um how you look, for example, it's yeah. not the conventional. I feel like a lot of times so I get that it's not the conventional like look it's or not. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, I don't know. So for you, for example, has it been difficult trying to break into like mainstream you know how like how they say like you're not the typical look right yeah has it been difficult trying to like get people that don't look like you to like like your content and engage with your content uh i feel like if anything it has it has kept people intrigued to be honest i think so not, too. not necessarily like oh because of you look i mean people have the things i don't want to say anytime i post a picture there's always somebody in the comment talking mm-hmm. about how you should try a wig or how you don't look like you're mm-hmm. a woman mm-hmm. i'm just like really with all with all the mm-hmm. everything i don't everything look like a woman see, yeah. like, I mean, so people always have the words what you want to say but i feel like it keeps people intrigued i think so yeah. as well because they don't understand it and they're like why would a woman want to cut her hair so they're mm-hmm. a bit like hmm, i don't yeah. understand what is happening i mean here. when i cut my hair i got a lot of my dad told me a lot of times that dead now i'm still alive it got, i got a lot of that from my oh dad my God, because of like crazy. my culture and where i'm from but where are you I, from? i'm evil oh, okay. but i had to like let my dad know that it's just it's just it's a just beauty style. stuff it's, it's style it's, it's, it's never that deep it has nothing to do with you it's never that and people will be like oh are you sick i'm just like never that deep honestly. you know also as well it's like and deep. i also feel like that's a very personal question i don't think you should go around asking people am i sick? sick like what if i was actually sick so i'll just start you crying, just start crying. you just oh be like oh goodness. i'm so sorry you know <laughs> that, and then like that is so awkward yes yeah, so yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's talk about what else. What else you're getting up to? You know, I made the budding art actress joke. Are you going to take on more acting roles? What should we expect from you? To be honest, I think so. But now I'm just looking to like take acting classes because if I like to do anything, I like to do it well. I, I like to that. take my time to just make that. sure that I'm good enough so that I don't feel like mm-hmm. I'm I, mediocre, like less or anything. Yeah. I like to make sure I'm well grounded in whatever mm-hmm. I I I, I, I I want to do. And I also started doing like I also started being a creative director on set. Nice. I did one last week. Because I realized that I also direct my shoots. I'm just like, when I just do well. it for other people. So I started that last week. And okay. yeah, modeling as well. I'm starting a lip gloss business very soon okay. because I'm all for moisturized lips. Moisturized <laughs> lips. I love that. Yeah. So you're very busy. Uh, well, I guess so. I guess so. We thank, we thank God. We thank God. Oh, okay. I wish you all the best <laughs> in you everything so that you plan to do. Can you let thank the you viewers so. at home know where they can find you on social media? Well, um, Smooth Allison on Instagram, on um, YouTube, Alison Aldo, and, and on TikTok. Smooth Alison on TikTok as well. Alison Aldo on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. If you're looking for me, I'm Valerie.ek on Instagram. Really? And we are <laughs> and we are Spice TV underscore Africa on Instagram. Until next time, my name is Valerie, and this is The Daily Dish Show. <laughs>